Hello SpaceXly family, after a much needed break, here I am with another video of SpaceX updates. In this video, we are gonna look at what is happening at Starbase and updates on Artemis 1 mission. Starbase is gearing up for some big events. Crews have been working on the orbital launch mount almost all the time when there is no testing on the launch site. We can see new plumbings on it and it looks so much cleaner now. The crews have done pretty amazing work there. At times we see five man lifts at a time working on the OLM. I think they are preparing for a bigger static fire now. Yesterday, test tank booster 7.1 was tested, but it appears to be done with testing. Earlier, we speculated a static fire test on Starship 24 today as a possible road closure schedule was listed and also an overpressure notice was handed out to local residents. But now the road closure has been cancelled and normal works resume. With the conclusion of B-71's testing and if tomorrow's road closure schedule comes into effect, we may definitely see some actions on the booster or the ship. A couple of days ago, an RVAC engine was swapped on S-24. On Sunday night, SpaceX successfully completed its 40th mission of the year, a Falcon 9 carrying another batch of 51 Starlink satellites along with an additional rideshare payload, Sherpa LTC, lifted off from Space Launch Complex 40 at Space Force Station in Florida. The first stage booster supporting this mission was on its seventh flight, and it successfully landed on the drone ship just read the instructions. A day after the Starlink satellites were deployed, a user from Japan posted a video on Twitter showing the latest Starlink train passing above Hiratsuka, a city in Japan. It will take days and weeks for these satellites to reach their targeted orbit. NASA is now considering replacing the faulty seal on the quick disconnect that caused the hydrogen leak issue on the SLS rocket. Officials say they will fix the rocket while it is still on the pad only because it will enable the engineers to test the repair under cryogenic, or super cold, conditions. But after that, they will still roll the rocket back to vehicle assembly building to reset the system's batteries before the next launch attempt. Inspecting the rocket inside the VAB will enable them to conduct further checks on the health of the rocket including the umbilical lines. The next launch opportunity period opens on September 19th until October 4th. Let's see how NASA prepares for the next launch attempt which I think will be scrubbed due to another issue. With jokes aside, NASA seriously needs to send up this rocket as soon as possible. We have zero missions completed on this human's return to the moon project, the Artemis program. Thank you for watching this short video update. If you like the video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel.